Hi, I'm Bob Hughes with JD Squared, and I'd like to introduce you to the Model 50 Series Benders. This is the first three in the series. We have a manual pull, Model 51, and then we have two hydraulic machines, the Model 52 and the Model 53. Let's talk about the similarities first, and then we'll, we'll tell you the differences. The similarities is they're all spindle-based machines. This allows us to work on mandrel extractors, things like that, that are currently in development. Um, but you need a spindle machine to do that. They all have quick release pressure die systems. And what that means is I can flip this. It's infinitely adjustable so we can make any size die you want. You slide it back, out comes the U-strap and your tubing's out. Put it back in, same way, drop the pin, run it down, drop it over, you're ready to go. We've used a, a infinitely adjustable system here, simply a, a screw and nut type deal. And the reason for it is, if you want custom dies, literally no problem. Just tell us what radius you want, we're going to make the die. The other similarities, all machines have locking spindles. And what that means is as the spindle rotates, you'll hear a click, I hope. Uh, you hear the click? What that does is every 45 degrees, the spindle locks in place. The reason is, the Model 52 and the 53 will do one shot 90 degree bends. They actually will stroke 120 degrees. Your typical bend, you're going to bend around 93 degrees, so that's what you do. The reason we need the locking spindle is if you're doing very heavy wall, say two inch, quarter inch wall DOM, or, or very thin wall tubing for your top fuels, things like that, inch and a half, 058, you do not want to let the tubing release ever. You don't want it to relax. So what we do is we create a system every 45 degrees she'll lock, and what will happen is you have a spring-loaded pin right here. We can engage the lock mechanism, and then basically she'll lock around. So if, let's say in that rare instance you want to do your 180, you will bend your 90, you'll hear it lock, you retract the cylinder, just continue to 180. This way you get the best of both worlds. You get the 180s, um, and I mean the 90 degree one shot with it, and the 180s, but you don't get the price of a, a strictly 180 machine. All right, now let's talk about the individual differences. The Model 51 is a ratchet style machine. It's designed for people who need to go on a job site, do not have access to electricity or air. That's what it does. It does have a computer on board, but the computer is strictly a readout system. will give you a readout of one-tenth of a degree in that area. The hydraulic vendors, on the other hand, have a computer system. If you purchase the optional automatic control, they will actually control the machine for you. That's a very affordable option. You can go on our website and you'll see the price. All our machines, the hydraulics, can be manually controlled, and it's very easy to get them within a tenth of a degree accuracy just using the manual control, so you may not even want to buy the option. Let's talk about the hydraulics on these two real fast. The difference is, like, why would I want this hydraulic one or this one? This one here is designed with a 10,000 PSI cylinder. The reason for that is, over 30 years, we sold tens of thousands of machines. We have thousands of customers who have bought 32's Model 4's office with hydraulics and they already have this cylinder and they might have an air over hydraulic pump. So they could buy a 52, tell us they don't want the cylinder, don't want the pump, save a tremendous amount of money, they're up and running. Now, with the both it now to get 100% power out of this machine, you do have to have 10,000 psi pump. We offer an AC pump which is 4,000 psi, same one we use on the 32 and the 4's, but it only develops 4,000 psi. What that means is you're limited to 40% full power. This machine with that pump will only generate 40% full power. Now here's the really cool thing. The machine is so powerful that even at 40%, we, were, we can bend two inch 11 gauge tubing at 40% load. So that's something that the, the way in right there. The other difference is, um, well real quick, this machine will handle 10 inch radius dies. This one and the 51. The Model 53 is designed to go larger tubing. Um, it'll handle a 12 and a half inch radius. All right, let's talk about the hydraulics on this machine. This machine uses a larger cylinder, uses an AC pump only, you never use an aero hydraulic, and it will develop full power with the AC pump. She will bend it all. So if you're bending two inch, quarter inch wall, this machine here will do it as she sits. This one here, if you have the AC pump, you're going to need to have access to a 10,000 PSI pump if you're going to bend something like two-inch quarter. It's like you're a rock crawler. You're building rock crawlers. Um, both these machines have computers, but once again, with the optional system if you buy it, and you can store 99 programs and recall those programs quickly. They have zero and set functions on all our machines, so once you load your tubing, you would hit the zero button. It zeroes the counter out. 
And at that point, you just bend and get the readout. Now, if you know where you want to bend, say 93 degrees, you'll rotate the die to 93, hit set, we'll select your, select your bend position, one to 99 bends, hit set, and from that point on, you can turn the machine off, ship it across country, whatever you want to do, that thing's still going to see 93 degrees whenever it gets there. And this prevents you from having to set it every time. The last thing I'd like to mention about the computer is our optional auto control will only work with an AC pump. So if you do use an aerobic hydraulic pump, it will not work. This machine, of course, it will because it is an AC pump. That's another feature to consider right there. Um, the last thing is the stands. They're very heavy duty stands. The Model 52 and 53 come on rollers. You can roll the stand around. The Model 53, though, weighs a little over 400 pounds. The, I think it's 413, somewhere in that ballpark. The Model 52 is around 370 to 380, a little bit lighter. Um, and it's simply just two handles go in and you roll it around and then position it where you want. That's pretty much the differences right there. The hydraulics, the, this one here is turnkey, ready to go. If you want the optional control, you're good to go. This one here, if you're doing tubing two inches and um, 11 gauge and below, you're good to go with, the, with this cylinder right here and just an AC pump or an aero hydraulic. If you want to bend the heavier stuff, the two inch, quarter inch wall or two and a half inch wall, I mean two and a half inch, you probably might, you're gonna to have to go to an, an aero hydraulic. This machine here, Realistically, you, you can bend two inch by hand. Uh, you better get a longer handle. It uses standard one inch um, pipe. But if you're gonna bend two inch tubing, this thing, you're gonna pull your brains out. So you might wanna think about this. This machine is really designed for on the job, inch and quarter guardrail, stuff like that. Um, and that's basically the, the, um, the differences and the similarities between the machines. Now what we'll be doing, check other videos and we will be individually demoing the machine with all of its capabilities of each individual machine, and then a separate video will also talk about all the computer functions. Thank you for considering JD Squared, and have a good day.